On this episode of Bus Talk, we're going to discuss tail swing in a Type 1 conventional bus. Hi, this is Paul at School Bus Talk. I'm here at the global headquarters of School Bus Talk, the patio studio today. And uh, if you go and check out the rear outside corners of any large type one conventional bus, you're likely to see minor damage like this. Oh, ouch, that hurts. Well, this damage is caused by tail swing. Uh, let's talk about tail swing and what happens on type one conventional buses. Okay, this is a type one conventional bluebird bus. Um, sometimes this is called a body and frame uh, forward control bus uh, because the frame, the power unit, the control system is manufactured as one unit. And then the bus company installs a body on top of that frame. Um, all big vehicles have tail swing, but large type one conventional school buses are the worst. Um, this is because uh, the distance between the rear axle and the back of the bus uh, is so great. Check out um, this Bluebird uh, type one conventional. Uh, this, um, this body design is often known as the Vision. Um, the, the tail distance, uh, the distance between the axle and the tail of the bus is about 12 feet or 3.7 meters. And look what happens uh, when a bus makes a left hand turning movement pulling away from the curb and the driver places the steering wheel in the left lock position. See how the rear of the bus swings to the right as the bus pulls forward? Um, the tail swing uh, to the right can be as much as 24 inches or 61 centimeters. Um, this is a real issue when departing from bus stops. Uh, look, at the bu look at this bus stop and the position of this uh, roadside sign. Uh, if you're not careful pulling away from this bus stop, that sign uh, and the rear of the bus is there's gonna be a pinch point. And uh, especially as the tail of the bus swings to the right. There's, al there's also a left tail swing danger when the bus makes sharp uh, right turning movements. Typically, this can be between the bus and queuing vehicles in a uh, traffic congestion situation. So, tips for minimizing tail swing collisions. Number one, uh, avoid turning movements where you have to make a right or left hand turning movement and locking that steering wheel. Um, tail swing is mitigated if the bus turns gradually as it's moving forward. Number two, if forced to make sharp turning movements, uh, for, example, for example, departing a bus stop, do your five point mirror check and check carefully in the mirror of the opposite, in the opposite mirror from the direction you're turning. So in the case of making a left hand turning movement away from a bus stop, make sure you check that right hand mirror very carefully that there's nothing near the rear of the bus that you might hit. Also, number three, maintain a sp space cushion. Now space cushion is the distance between the front of the bus and the vehicle in front of you. The rule of thumb is that you want to be able to see the wheels of the vehicle in front of you touching the pavement. This allows you enough, mo uh, mo uh, enough maneuvering room so that you can pull the bus gradually forward and minimize your tail swing. Okay, so that wraps up this episode of Bus Talk. Remember, safety is essential.